In this section, we want to talk about the different types of questions that we can answer using integrals. That is, what can we apply integration to, specifically in business contexts, to give us some useful information. Well, the first thing we can consider are initial value problems. So in initial value problems, we start off with some marginal cost function, marginal profit function. In example one, we have a marginal price function. We integrate that to get back to the original function, and then using some initial condition, we can find the function itself. So in this first example, we want to find the integral of p prime of x. So when we find this integral, essentially what we're finding is the actual price demand function p of x. So to integrate this function, we can pull up Wolfram Alpha and say integrate negative 6,000 divided by the quantity 3x plus 50 squared. So this gives us the result 2,000 over 3x plus 50 plus some constant c. So we have a general expression for our price demand function, but in terms of applications, that's not very useful. We can't evaluate this given function. We can't evaluate the function that we have here because we don't know what this arbitrary constant is. So what we'll do is look at finding the price demand equation, p of x, starting with that indefinite integral that we have, knowing that if the weekly demand is 150, so demand is our x variable, so that when x is 150, demand is 150, when the price of a bottle of shampoo is $8. So this is our value for p or more specifically, p of 150. So what we can do is take our indefinite integral, which has that plus c, that arbitrary constant at the end of it, and we can say solve 8 equals, so 8 being our price, and then for x, we'll plug in that value of 150. So we're plugging in the value for x that we know, the value for p, and we're going to solve for c. So we solve this, we get c equals 4, meaning we have a price demand function, p of x, that's equal to 2,000, over 3x plus 50. And now instead of plus c, that constant, we've solved given that initial value information to know that that function is plus 4. So now that we have that original price demand function, we can evaluate it for different values of x, or similarly, we can solve if what we're given is a price. So we want to find the weekly demand when the price is $4.50. So we want to solve 4.5, so that's the price information that we do know, equal to 2,000 divided by 3x plus 50 plus 4. So this is our price demand function set equal to a price of 4.5. We want to find out what demand, what demand will be at that price level. In this case, we get a fractional result. So if we click on approximate form, we get a value of about 1,317, if we round that to the nearest whole number. So the weekly demand, when our price is $4.50, will be x equals approximately 1,317 units. We can also use indefinite integrals to look at the increase in either cost, revenue, or profit or just the change in those values as production increases from one set amount to another. So in this case, we have a company that manufactures mountain bikes. We have a marginal cost function where X is the number of bikes produced per month. We want to compute the increase in cost going from a production level of 600 bikes per month to 720. So essentially what we want is the cost function evaluated at 720 
minus the cost function, evaluated at 600. So if we had the original cost function, we could just evaluate that. That would give us the increase in cost from this production level to this new production level. All we have is the marginal cost function, though. So we could evaluate this by integrating this marginal cost function. over the interval from 600 to 720. Because what this will do when we integrate this function, we'll get the cost function plus that arbitrary constant C, which always cancels out with definite integrals. We'll evaluate it at 600 and 720, take the differences of those two, and we'll find that difference in our cost. So we can integrate. 300 minus x over 3 for x equals 600 to 720. So replacing this with any other function, the lower and upper bound for our integral will allow us to evaluate that definite integral. In this case, gives us a result of 9,600. So we can say the increase in cost going from a production level of 600 bikes up to 720 bikes. That increase in cost will be $9,600, which again we get from evaluating that definite integral.